Oh. Oh. Wait, I know what he's about to do. <sighs> These things are annoying. Switch news items for this video, but the first one, the first one, top three favorite franchises of all time in order. Number one, Zelda. Number two, Mario. Number three, Metroid. Oh, we just got some huge Metroid news for the Nintendo Switch now. The source of this um, leak, very credible, Leaky Pandy. The, she or he was the individual who leaked stuff previously at Nintendo Directs. Specifically, they leaked correctly Banjo's reveal at E3. And so, whoever this person is, they have some sources. Trust me, because I've been behind the scenes before, and I've seen some stuff that y'all wouldn't have even believed, bro. A lot of that stuff already happened, but I knew it ahead of time. But they are saying Nintendo is planning two new Metro titles that will release in the next two fiscal years, respectively. One, a re-release of Metroid Prime Trilogy. All right, a re-release of that. We're going to talk about that in a second. And the second one is a Super Nintendo Super Metroid remake that mimics the style and scope of Metroid Samus Returns. Oh, my goodness. So much great news. Huh? Way to satiate our appetite, Nintendo, while we wait. What we really want is Metroid Prime 4. But this is straight where's my fire. This is straight fire in the meantime, man. This is fire to hold this over. Here we are. We're gonna keep the fire up for, for a little bit. Cause this is fire news. This will hold this over until Metro Prime 4. Because I already told you guys, Metro Prime 4 is not coming out on the Nintendo Switches we have right now. This is going to be a launch title probably for the Switch Pro, the Switch 2, whatever Nintendo's doing three years from now. The minimum. But, bro, I remember when they announced Samus Returns and they announced it for the 3DS. I was hot, bro. I was hot. I was like, man, Nintendo. This would have been a perfect game for the Switch. And I get what Nintendo was doing. Because they did have a lot of fire coming out for the Switch at that time. So we weren't lacking in games. And they wanted to still support the 3DS. But bro. I told you, I met you as my third favorite gaming series of all time. My favorite Metroid game of all time is Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo. I've beaten this game a gajillion kabillion times bro this game is so lit i hope they give this game the luigi's mansion 3 treatment the art style just the upgrade how beautiful luigi's mansion 3 looks or even the um link um link's awakening awakening treatment that they really give us a solid remake of this game this is the best 2 D Metroid game ever, bro. Game is lit from beginning to end. The final boss battle with Mother Brain, epic, bro. I, I gotta spoil. I can't spoil it. It's like a thirty-year-old game. How the baby Metroid comes in, starts attacking her, and then you go crazy. You start. Oh my goodness, crazy stuff, bro. And so, 
Super Metroid, we're gonna get a remake of that game and Metroid Prime. Um, it didn't say we're getting a remake. It she just says or he just says a re-release of Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. Which I'm here for that. Metroid Prime, the first one, straight fire. Game changing, bro. Love the game from beginning to end. I have to say, Metroid Prime 2, it, went, it stepped it down a little bit. It wasn't as good as the first one. Metroid Prime 3 brought it right back up. Metroid Prime 3, straight fire with the different bounty hunters. Bro, I'm telling you, I keep saying this about Metroid Prime 4. Metro Prime 4 needs to do something like an Overwatch time type online multiplayer with the different bounty hunters and they have different abilities. Bro, that would be epic. And so huge Metroid news just dropped. I think this is good for Nintendo to do this because we got our, on the Switch, we got our Mario fix. We got our Zelda fix. We haven't gotten Metroid yet, Nintendo. So Nintendo needs to step up their Metroid game. I think this is perfect to wait, tie this over until um, that Metroid Prime 4 fire drops. All right, we have two more news items for this video. The first one, bruh, Pokemon Company ain't playing around, bro. I right, have three more news items. It's being reported that the Pokemon Company, as I speak right now, is trying to track down the identities of the original Sword Shield leakers before this game launched. Huge leaks surfaced on the internet. I mean, the entire Pokedex, the, ev the final evolutions of the Pokemon, crazy stuff. It was probably... The worst nightmare for Game Freak to happen right before the game launched. And so right now, they're trying to track them down and take some legal action, bro. Either these dudes are going to either get locked up or some major fines. Um, they're going to have to cough up a lot of money, bro. Nintendo and it's sort of Nintendo sort of has to do this. We could say, oh, the game just lost. It's all right. But, bro. If they get away with it, it's going to encourage other employees, other dudes to try to do the same thing. And this is going to remind them, okay, if we do this, Nintendo's going to be flaming, bruh. Perfect segue, Charizard. Bro, this next news item is pretty dope. Check out the world's smallest Nintendo Switch controller. That's right, 8-Bit Doe, 8-Bit Doe, they're making a keychain size controller for the Nintendo Switch called the Zero Two. It's going to be a Bluetooth gamepad that connects via Bluetooth to the Nintendo Switch. Look how small this thing is, bro. And here's a close-up shot um, of the controller. I have to say, this looks pretty cool, man. This looks pretty dope. This this would be more of a collector's item. If I'm out, if, I, if I'm home, I'm definitely using my Pro Controller. But if I'm out, I'm probably just going to use the Joy-Cons on the Switch. So, eh, this is cool, a cool option. It's so small, though. You might as well use the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons are, are, is larger than this, but Joy-Cons don't have that D-pad. This would just be a collector's item. That's all. That's all. All right. And the last news item for this video is Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition has been announced for the Nintendo Switch. I've never been a big fan of Devil Cry, May Cry series, but if you are the... Um, um, Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition has been announced for the Nintendo Switch and it will be released on the eShop February 20th. All right, dudes and dudettes, what do you guys think about all of the news discussed in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that, oh, 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 wrong way. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. 
though. We out, bruh. Also, before I head out, I'm giving away a copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield to a lucky subscriber. You gotta be subscribed to this YouTube channel and following me on Twitter, on Twitter, at Obi1Plays, and subscribe to get in the running. I'm gonna announce the winner in less than a week. Less than a week, the winner for a free Nintendo Switch game. Also, if you're in a game with your boy every day, um, join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community. Become a sponsor through Twitch, right here on YouTube, or through Patreon. The links are in the description. Get invited to my private game in Discord. Tonight with the sponsors, we're going to be playing Overwatch on my YouTube gaming channel, on Twitch, and on Twitter. I stream simultaneously on those platformers. Platformers. Ha! <laughs> Platforms almost every night. Get at me, boy. We out. Deuces. Oh, wow, I ended that a little aggressive. Deuces.